Uh, we asked the uh, assistant chief earlier, I said, do you want to find this former officer for his own safety or possibly because he's involved in that shooting from yesterday? Frankly, the assistant chief said both. They want to find him for both of those reasons. Now, it's a very complicated situation how all of these people fit together. Let's start this story from the beginning. <laughs> This video is unreal. First, you see a 29 year old Detroit man unload gunfire on this home off Ferguson Street near Finkel on the city's west side. That was around 11 a.m. Thursday. Then, three hours later, he comes back, lighting the house up again. Inside, three kids and five people. One of them returns fire and is shot in the hand. Cell phone video carefully taken inside the home through blinds shows the shooter's bizarre behavior, dancing with the weapon twirling down the street. It's scary. I mean, like, like I said, this is an individual just terrorizing a neighborhood. And I can tell you right now, we have no idea why. By Thursday night, a manhunt for the shooter ends in his arrest here near Schaefer and West Chicago. Then this story takes a twist. Somehow this shooter and this shooting is tied to a former Detroit police officer. The suspect we took into custody last night is a neighbor with our re retired police officer. So we have that car with our suspect um, and we're still looking for our, our former officer. Detroit police issuing a be on the lookout for a former DPD officer, 41 year old Stefan Hodo. Then Friday afternoon, our cameras were rolling when police executed a search warrant at Hodo's home and next door at his neighbors, the shooter police have in custody. The house that does appear to be a little bit of a struggle. Uh, we just want to make sure that he's okay, he's fine. Police say in that Thursday shooting off Ferguson Street, the shooter was using Hodo's car, and these two weapons both registered to Hodo. The former cop is now missing. We're looking for an individual because um, we don't know what his connection is to anything, mostly for his own safety because we have not heard from him. Yeah, that's Stefan Hodo is missing. He was with Detroit police for eight years. He left the force in 2013. We asked if there was any disciplinary action upon him leaving. They said no, he simply just left. Uh, folks in the neighborhood where he lives say he actually just moved back from Las Vegas about a year ago to Detroit. And of course, investigators leaning on the community. Now, hopefully someone knows uh, where he is, recognizes him and calls Detroit police right away. Reporting live, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, the key sounds like it's the connection between the neighbor and this former officer and he could have maybe possibly been connected or involved but he could have also been trying to intervene and got caught in a really bad situation. Yeah, I think the important part to note is what the assistant chief said there. It does appear there was a struggle inside of Hodo's home. We did see investigators going in there taking photos. We didn't see any evidence being brought out, but they were taking photos of whatever that struggle may be. Definitely one to stay tuned on.